Basic Workflow Demonstration Scan Parameter Setting This video will demonstrate the basic scanning process using the Infrared Hybrid Alignment Mode. Select the Infrared Laser and Hybrid Alignment Mode. Click on Preference to adjust the scanning parameters. 1. Resolution determines the distance between points in the generated point cloud. The smaller the point distance, the more details the scanner captures, and the finer the resulting model. Conversely, larger point distance reduces detail. In infrared laser mode, the maximum is 0.1 mm. 2. Exposure controls the brightness of the laser lines. When scanning black, dark, or reflective objects, increase the exposure value. 3. Frame rate. It will affect scanning speed. The default parameter is recommended. If your computer performance is limited, you can reduce the frame rate for smoother scanning. 4. Scanning distance. After setting the scanning distance, the scanner will filter out data beyond this range. 5. LED fill light. Enabled by default setting. Keeping it on helps with real-time texture alignment and capturing texture information. 6. Laser light. Disabled by default. Enabling it to recognize the markers. When markers are needed for alignment, manually turn on the laser light. 7. Automatic background plane. This function automatically detects and separates the scanned object from the background, establishing a background plane. Note. During the first frame scan, make sure to align with a flat surface. 8. Display resolution. This is for real-time point cloud display. Higher settings demand higher PC configuration, so it is recommended to use the default based on your PC's configuration. 9. Point Cloud Style This setting determines the real-time display shape of the point cloud. You can choose the style according to your preference. Start Scanning Optimal Scanning Distance The optimal scanning distance for the blue laser mode is around 210 mm, while for the infrared mode, it is around 300 mm. It is recommended to maintain the scanning distance close to the reference distance to ensure accurate results. Avoid being too close or too far. If the scanner is too close, the two cameras may not capture enough common features, leading to misalignment. If it is too far, the scanning details may not be sufficient. The distance bar on the right side of the software indicates the real-time scanning distance with a green dot keep it within the appropriate range. Scan Angle During scanning, move the scanner from multiple angles especially when dealing with gaps, edges, and other hard-to-scan areas. Adjust the scanning angle to ensure comprehensive data acquisition. Additionally, try to keep the two black and white cameras perpendicular to the scan surface to obtain better data quality. Color map can help us to assess the quality of the scanned data. Green indicates higher data quality, with the point cloud density matching the current resolution, while red indicates the opposite. Once all data points turn green, you can stop scanning and click Finish to proceed to the data. Note: After changing the resolution, the color may display will also change accordingly. You need to continue scanning until the data turns green. Point Cloud Processing After scanning, click the Finish button. Waiting for the data processing. The calculation time depends on the scan resolution, computer configuration, and the size of the scanned object. The finer and larger the object, the longer the calculation will take. You can see the number of point clouds in the bottom right corner of the software. Both the scan project and point cloud project display sampled point cloud data. During the calculation, noise will be filtered, merged, and the complete point cloud will be computed. Once completed, the actual number of point clouds will be displayed. In the point cloud project, you can delete unnecessary data. Use the disconnected components or isolated points functions to automatically select data that is not connected to the main body and isolated noise points, and then delete them. You can also manually select unwanted data by framing it. Then right-click or press the delete key to remove it. Right-clicking also allows you to change the selection mode, selection object, and access some additional functions. Here, we can save the point cloud file and the point cloud project. If the object requires data alignment, save the point cloud files as ASC or APJ files. You can later use the model alignment function to merge the front and back data. Click the wrap button at the top to generate a mesh file. On the left side, you can choose the wrapping type. There are three wrapping types, not close holes. Fill no holes when meshing the model. Close small holes fills small holes in the model. Fully close holes fills all holes. 
Generally, we choose not closed holes or closed small holes. The calculation time for closed small holes is longer than for not closed holes. There are three wrapping modes. Curvature optimization adjusts the mesh density automatically based on the curvature of each part of the model, with a smoothing effect resulting in a smoother final model compared to the standard mode. Standard mode meshes the model based on the original data without smoothing. Small files generates a meshed model with the smallest volume. Mesh optimization smooths the model, adjusts mesh edge direction, and performs simple sharpening. It is recommended to select this option. Fill holes of markers. Fills holes around marker points according to the curvature of the surrounding data. Check this option when using marker points. Mesh simplification reduces the number of mesh elements during wrapping. You can adjust the simplification ratio. After setting the wrapping parameters, click Apply. In the mesh interface, we can further process the mesh, such as refining and simplifying it. To fill specific holes in the model, click the manual hole filling button at the top and manually select the holes to fill. The auto fill holes function has a preset circumference value and holes smaller than this value will be automatically filled. You can also adjust this value as needed. After wrapping, you can export files in STL, OBJ, and other formats for further editing. If you need to import the best texture plugin, save the mesh as an SPJ project file and then proceed with texture mapping in the plugin. Texture. If you need a color model, click the texture button at the top. Typically, enable, beautify, and smooth, and highlight suppression when scanning human face, and click apply to generate the color model. Once the color model is ready, click texture parameters to adjust the texture settings. You can modify the hue, saturation, and exposure to affect the final texture effect. Adjusting ambient light and specular light will impact the current display effect. Click the back button and export the color model. Select the OBJ with texture file format when saving. Please note that the file name should consist of numbers or letters. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.